And you want to talk about somebody having some bad luck. I don't know why, but my man's having a little trouble getting over the hump here lately. Mecca in one of the strangest losses I can ever remember seeing here a couple of weeks back. Uh, I understand that, that you're, you're trying to find a partner for Mecca. Uh, I, I, I don't really understand why Number Man seemed like a good idea to you. Um, but nevertheless, uh, he was beaten. And, you know, I've never seen the big man as angry as I saw him after that loss two weeks ago. Well, he's having a hard time adjusting to the fact that we're trying to find him a new partner. You know, we all slow down in the ring as we get older, so I wanted to find him a younger, more capable partner. And number man, a legendary star here in CWF. I thought it would work. A legendary star. He's been in many great battles. He's I even see. even wrestled the man coming to the ring, Kamikaze Kid, one time. He's been in a lot of matches. Number man's win-loss record, not that good, though. And His weight fluctuates a lot. And, and he, he experienced another loss here uh, just two weeks ago. And after the loss, oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! We're going to see another quick one here. Mecha Mercenary just charges over and absolutely creams Kazi in the corner. And these two are no strangers. Absolutely not. There are a, a series of wars that took place last year into early this year. I mean, Mecca and myself versus Kazi was the feud of the year last year. Oh boy. Elbow, Mecca's going early. Boy, everybody is absolutely looking to win as quickly and easily as possible tonight. They know that we are live on pay-per-view in front of the whole world, and everyone wants to make that worldwide mark if they can here, Cecil. Absolutely. I mean, just to show you how big this is, we got fans still filing into this building. We're oh, running yeah. out of chairs. It's going to be absolutely packed here, and it is, it, we are very close to capacity. Kazi, oh boy, heads up on the ground floor. Oh, mushroom stomp to the back of the Head. And he goes all the way to the floor as the Sportatorium comes up. It got Toping Toping Gun Hero, I can't even talk. I don't even know what that is. Cover. It's Spanish. Mmm. See. Let's get some Mexican food tomorrow. We want to thank everyone that's joining us live worldwide. Shout out to my boy Ben Martin. Shout out to the Beyond Ringside oh. crew. I had a great time on the Beyond Ringside podcast a couple of weeks back. Shout out to everyone that's joining us streaming live at ondemand.cwf247.com and at highspots.tv. Like you said, people from all over the world are watching Kazi get his gut stomped out right now. I got now. shout outs too. I want to shout out Tom Green with the Fun Time Wrestling Arcade and Joe Gagne. They help us out advertising the show. That Tom Green? That Not that Tom Green. Oh, not that Tom Green. Right. Funny guy. And also Jay Hunter with OSW Reviews for giving us a shout out this week. We appreciate everyone helping us spread the word about these internet pay-per-views. It is such a joy and such a rush for all of us to be live anywhere in the world. People in Bangladesh could be watching us right now. I mean, they live in a mud hut in a third world country. They got them cell phones though. Wow. Yeah, everybody's got a cell phone, probably better than mine. Got to. You do still have that flip phone. Cover from Mecca and almost a three count here. See, so undeniably the story of the, of, of the entire card tonight has been guys going for the win early, guys wanting to get it done. The element of surprise has been a story tonight as well as, uh, like we touched on earlier, quite frankly, just guys having just downright bad luck has been the story uh, of the night. And your man Mecca has had a lot of bad luck lately. Uh, He's looking real, real good thus far. Yeah, he's looking very good, and that's the thing. He's Possibly because you're not out there giving him bad advice. Maybe, I don't know. Look. I've never been advised by you. If I did, I wouldn't take it, but I'm just saying. He looks better He looks better now than the last time I saw him that where you were at ringside. I'm just saying. We couldn't figure out the Aaron, Aaron Biggs puzzle, okay? Well, I, you know, I can't even really hold that one against you too much because that's a big, big puzzle to try to figure out and put together. That's a 5,000-piece puzzle. Kazi dives across the ring, goes all the way up and over, almost took camera one out. And I think Mecca's got a little bit more confidence because he's wrestling a man that he has beaten. Big finger slash. Hey. Appreciate all our Twitter followers at CWF Mid-Atlantic. Oh! oh! Crazy. Crazy. with the clothesline. Kazi is done creamed him. Now let's be honest, Kazi hasn't had the best of luck this summer either. 
No, hey. both of these men are are uh, looking for looking to get back on the map, so to speak. I mean, he was unsuccessful in his bid to win the television title against Matty De Niro a couple of months back. I yeah. want to shout out our boy Matty De Niro, uh, recovering from a concussion Where suffered at the hands of Chip Day. That's right. And down in Florida on a little vacation, trying to rest up, trying to get well. Uh, not with us tonight. That Chip Day is a bad, bad dude. And you can see that Matty De Niro title defense versus Chip Day uh, as part of Can't Hardly Wait, which is available right now on demand at ondemand.cwf247.com. Uh, a very physical matchup that is. Uh, that's put Maddie on the shelf for a little while here. Chip Day was incredibly impressive. <laughs> During that whole event, he wrestled twice. Of course, someone will have to wrestle twice tonight. We know that Jobber. Trevor Lee and Lee Valiant have been charged with that task, but one man will have to win twice to leave with the trophy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Good move from Kazi. Really good move. And we're Smart. And we're seeing two guys who really know each other pretty well trying to bust out some different offense. Nice standing moonsault. Kazi is really, you know, uh, we've seen Kazi throw caution to the wind so many times, literally just time after time after time, but he's really throwing caution five to the wind now. Five he's really throwing caution to the wind tonight. Oh, boy. This is not smart. That's ambitious. That's ambitious. Oh. That's very ambitious. No, he could not hold him. Could not hold the man. Black hole. No. Oh. oh. Hello. Man, right in the face. And I don't care how big you are or how awesome you are. I mean, a kick to the face is going to drop you just about every time. And we might see the frog splash. Could be the frog splash. Could be the double stomp. Frog splash. No water in the pool. Good thinking from Mecca. I think there was some indecisiveness. The man was at a at an odd angle, and I don't think Kazi could quite figure out how he wanted to come at it. Love Mecca or hate him, that was a smart move right there by the monstrous 400-pounder. You know, I still hate Kazi, by the way. I bet you do. But you know what? I respect the man, believe it or not. I mean, his, his Kamikaze kid means so much to so many of the young guys in the locker room. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We might see our first uh, big top row. Oh. Uh, I'm disastrous maneuver of the night. And I've told Mecca, to, we, we, need, we need to reel back on that middle rope elbow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Superplex. No way. Oh, boy. Mecca slings his way out of it. He has slung his way out of it. Could be that elbow drop, Cecil. Could be. Could if be he... that flying crossbody. Oh, God. Did not get the elbow drop. And that could prove disastrous. And we saw the same thing happen earlier to Lee Valiant, go for that top rope elbow and not connecting. Whoa, up and over. Oklahoma Big roll. man's shoulders are down. Oh, God. He got God. it. Come on. Kazi Kid with a win. Mecca gets another loss, Cecil Scott. Hey, I saw his shoulder off the mat. Referee Charles Richardson did not. Six minutes, 21 seconds. We got we to gotta figure something out here. I don't know what's going on with the Mecca Mercenary. That's another high profile loss. 440 some odd pounds, Cecil. And you cannot figure out how to channel this guy productively. And he's getting harder and harder to control as we go. And he, oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh. You need to fix this. Oh, Tina, help me. Fix it. Tina, help me.